Flacinello is the final one to load. They're set. And they're off in the Albany Stakes of 2023. A good start made by Pretty Crystal. Matrika over on the far side, the near side, passionately with Persian Dream. And most of them going towards the far side. Flacinello is fairly handy. Do it with Stahl is in behind with Carla's Way. The orange and black on the inside of that is Gushing Gold. They are then followed by Porter Fortuna. The pink armlets on the black sleeves, tracked by Comat and Orange Cap and the red hat of Mapmaker. Towards the near side, shaken along, is Sarah Khan. A soprano is in the center, the light blue colors. Persian Dreamer, Jabara is following those as they head down towards halfway. Dawn Charger is very, very prominent indeed. They're now running down towards the two. Dawn Charger, Matrika, Carla's Way just shifting slightly to the right. Navassa Island, the extreme left, looking to come into contention. Porter Fortuna making some ground as the field now have a furlong and a half to go in the Albany. Matrika is sent on here from Dawn Charger, then Porter Fortuna, Carla's Way with work to do. Persian Dreamer, Jabara on the near side, Porta Fortuna and Frankie finishing very strongly and getting to Matrika. And Porta Fortuna has taken over here, half a furlong to go. Frankie in front, Matrika is rallying. It's 80 winners and counting of Royal Ascot for Frankie. Porta Fortuna wins the Albany. And they're off in the Commonwealth Cup. A very slow start. Re a rearing was at Shaquille. A, a brilliant beginning from Swing Along. Up there with Little Big Bear. Should have been a ring. The light blue colours is towards the back of the field. Handy is Rumstar and Queen Me, the sheepskin noseband, followed by Ocean Quest and the XO in the purple. The black and yellow stripes then of Sakir. Marba on the near side. Over on the left, following Little Big Bear is Noble Style. And they're followed by Shaquille, who's pulling hard after that slow start start with Lazoo and Frankie de Tori following Marban towards the near side as the field head towards halfway in the Commonwealth Cup. Little Big Bear on the outside of the Philly swing along. Queen Me is there. Ocean Quest looking for a way through in company with it should have been a ring and rum star and coming towards the near side Lazoo has still got plenty to do. It's swing along. Queen Me, Ocean Quest, Little Big Bear is driven. Shaquille is coming from a, a very difficult position at the back of the field to finish well as they head towards the last furlong. Swing along Little Little Big Bear, Shaquille running a blinder, then Ocean Quest and Queen Me. Little Big Bear with Shaquille challenging on the attack, the far side. Shaquille having made a mess of the start is coming home brilliantly, an extraordinary win in the Commonwealth Cup. Shaquille and Oshin Murphy for Julie Camacho. Den they're off for the Duke of Edinburgh Stakes over a mile and a half. They came away to a pretty good line. Out wide Global Heat with a white cap just taking a while to work over. Likewise, owner mate Live Your Dream, the blue with the red cap. But they're in fairly handy position. So too Max Sood in the green and yellow and Stay Well in the yellow and blue. Nose bounded to Messias Fox, meanwhile, drops in down at the running rail and is tracking Alna Fear in the all blue silk. So is another to adopt a prominent position as they run steadily downhill at the end of a quarter of a mile and head towards Swindley Bottom and it's Global Heat who's got to the front and leads up to Live Your Dream out wide and then Max Sood and Al Nafir against the running rail at the other end of the field Tyson Fury is the early back marker and is detached. Stay well tracks the leading quartet as they begin to swing right handed with Timesius Fox up the running rail and a sheepskin nose band followed by the grey haunted dream and then HMS President in a white jacket he races back towards midfield. Uh, Ajero in the dark blue and yellow is caught fairly wide as they run on down the side of the course and head towards halfway. Uh, Kita Sushi is among those held up at this stage with Amerik down on the inside and a yellow jacket held up. Likewise, uh, White Wolf with a black cap. Akal in a black jacket is towards the rear of the field. Tyson Fury is still right out the back. Morakana in the light blue and pink is also among those held up with Lucanda in the purple and yellow. They're climbing now heading towards the last half mile in the Duke of Edinburgh and up ahead the white face live your dream has moved through to dispute it with global heat chased into the turn by Max Sood in a green jacket to Messias Fox the rail working across to just ahead of him Alna fear and stay well than HMS president from Ajero mayhem Max is back in mid division the blue sleeves and cap as they swing for home and live your dream is the first to commit he's kicked a couple ends clear here straightens up in advance of Max Sood Alna fear stay well in the 
yellow and blue. Out on the right, HMS President. Extreme right, Akita Sushi's keeping on in behind Ajero. The grey haunted dream is trying to thread a passage. Live your dream is being clawed back. HMS President, white jacket moving through. Here's Ryan Moore over the top on Akita Sushi. But into power home. Inside the furlong, Akita Sushi. HMS President from the rear. White Wolf is running on with Ajero. Akita Sushi nosing ahead from HMS President. Five on the week for more. Akita Sushi from HMS President. Live your dream. They're off. The Group 1 Coronation Stakes first run in 1840. The Old Mile stretches before them. An early pace, such as it is, comes from Meditate in the hands of Ryan Moore in the blue and orange with Sounds of Heaven, the yellow cap, now moving up to apply a little bit of pressure. Queen for you in a pale jacket drops in at the running rail. That Mama's girl in the violet silks is now adopting a more prominent position. It's beginning to sweep round the field to get within three parts of a length of the lead. Nose banded Remarque tracks them at the end of two and a half furlongs. And Tahira dropped out last of the half dozen as they make the steady ascent towards the five marker. And it's Meditate and Ryan Moore leading up, but only narrowly to Sands of Heaven. And then Mama's Girl out wide to Queen for You, Remarque, and to hear it in the Emerald Green, looking on as they approach halfway. It's about to make the swing for home in the Coronation Stakes, and Ryan Moore setting the fractions here on Meditate leads by three parts of a length to Sands of Heaven. Mama's Girl in a violet jacket has got a wide trip as they reach the crown of the turn, followed into the straight by the nose banner to hear a breezing along out on the right. Then Remarque, Queen for You, pink jacket, looking for a way through up the running rail. Down inside the last two furlongs they come, Meditate up the rail. Here goes to Hira, though, beginning to power down the outside and to hear a beginning a very strong looking run has come sweeping through to take over inside the furlong to hear a forges on from sands of heaven meditate battling away a remarque keeping on in behind to hear merely being nudged out this classy filly wins the coronation stakes for dermot weld they're off. The straight mile ahead of them for the Sandringham Stakes. Rich, Polly Pot, Novus and Jackio in a pink jacket get out well towards the near side with Schwarz here in the yellow also showing speed. Uh, towards the near side, Novus is now tracking the leaders with in behind Coppis the pink cap and then Copy Artist and Mabel Artiste in the black and white unless in the maroon and blue and Candle of Hope with the scarlet sleeves tracks them towards the stand side, the right hand group as they head towards the end of the third furlong. Over on the far side, the left-hand group being led by Faniska with the white cap. Right up amongst them over there is Youngest in a yellow jacket. And then Bella Fina with Chelsea Green second from the right in that group and further right to Clown Macken. Eximius and Zoe Innocent are also in that group with Bridestones and Celsa Bela and Magical Sunset as they go through halfway in the Sandringham. So two distinct groups, far side group, left-hand group, just have a narrow advantage. But out on the right, Polly Pot in the pale colours is moving up with Schwarzia. Novus, rich in a red jacket, is bang there with Mabel Artiste. Candle of Hope is still in the leading line. In behind, Jackie O'Pink with a blue cap. Frankie the pink cap trying to find a way through on Coppice as they move down inside the last quarter mile. So Coppice now finding a bit of daylight has come bursting through on the stand side to take over from Candle of Hope. Breeze in a green jacket is also picking up down the stand side. It's Frankie and front inside the furlong on Coppice. Breeze Green Jacket challenging hard. Balalaika is also running on. Frankie nudging away. Coppice in front. Frankie on fire on his farewell. Coppice wins the Sandringham. And uh, they're off in the King Edward the seventh stakes. A good start made by Dubai Mile, racing over a mile and a half with artistic start and a rest also handy in the pink cap under Frankie. But it's Dubai Mile, the white-faced chestnut that has the lead under Daniel Musket, who now comes across and gets to the inside rail with the lead from artistic star. A rest is in third place. Continuous is in fourth. The yellow of Relentless Voyager in fifth. And Kevin Stott on the favorite King of Steel is last of the six 
in the early stages. The Derby second, but it is the Group 1 winning two-year-old Dubai Mile that leads the way to Artistic Star, seventh at Epsom. In second place, the Chester Vars winner, Arrest, is just tucked in and behind his old rival, Dubai Mile, with continuous on the outside, the purple and white Ryan Moore, with Oshin Murphy and Relentless Voyager in fifth place. And still, King of Steel is at the back as they come to the end of their first half mile and reach Swinley Bottom, with Daniel Muscat leading on Dubai Mile. Pace doesn't look overly strong. In second position is Artistic Star. Arrest is keen to go a little bit quicker, but covered up in third place with Continuous on the outside. Under restraint at the back still is King of Steel, and Relentless Voyager is on the inside of him as they head back towards us and getting close to the halfway point. And as they pass it, Dubai Mile leads by half a length, just increasing the tempo to Artistic Star in second place. Rob Hornby, continuous, then on the outside of Arrest and still King of Steel and Relentless Voyager are the back two. So they've gone past the five furlong marker, heading towards the last half mile in the King Edward VII. And Dubai Mile continues to lead Artistic Star, poised in second with continuous and Arrest, waiting in behind. Murphy just starts to niggle on Relentless Voyager and King of Steel has breezed past him and gone into fifth place but Dubai Mile trying to up the ante here but Artistic Star is right on his girth Arrest is being squeezed along continuous waiting King of Steel moved to the outside is going to have every chance as they turn for home and run for the final two Dubai Mile and Artistic Star continuous still he waits on King of Steel to the outside and now Kevin Stott says go on the favourite and comes to grab the lead from continuous and Artistic Star King of Steel but continuous not going down without a final Right in second, but King of Steel's forging away. He's got a length and a half to two clear of continuous. Then Artistic Star and Dubai Mile. It's King of Steel. He's the ruler of these, all right. And he wins the King Edward the seventh. The Derby second goes one better. One or two of them a little restless, and they're off in the Palace of Holyrood House. Hispanic got away well on the near side in company with Rocking Ends, and Michaela's boy is showing plenty of speed. Tatterstall towards the far side, uh, towards the centre of the course. Uh, Can Can is well up there in company with, or Can to Can, I should say, with Looking for Linda. Uh, Revenite is in the middle group in company with uh, Wall Bank and Conquistador and Curdos following towards the near side on that group. Michaela's boy is up there to Rocking Ends. Prince of Pillow is next in the field. Tatterstall over on the far side with clear point and pillow talk. The big board is chased along. Wallbank is being asked for an effort. Also coming there with a chance is Radio Gugu as the field have got a furlong and a half left to go. Michaela's boy Radio Gugu the near side. Kurdos is in the middle of the course coming home strongly and on the far side Harry Brown and Hayley Turner coming there but it's Kurdos and Rhythm and Hooves is running on very strongly indeed to press Kurdos. It is Kurdos in front. Rhythm and Hooves though finishing very strongly under Holly Doyle. Rhythm and Hooves wins. Kurdos second, Conquistador third, and in fourth place, that looked like Radio Gugu.